Hello students and auditors. Welcome again in this AAA class. This is Advanced Audit Assurance, Advanced Audit and Assurance and I am your tutor Haris Anif. Uh, in this video, we are having the uh, introduction about paper AAA and its syllabus and its exam format. You should know it. You should know it in advance, right? This is your paper Advanced Audit and Assurance. And to study this AAA paper, there are two prerequisites that is audit and assurance, obviously, which you have covered in your skills module. Double A, F8, audit and assurance, and one more. SBR, strategic business reporting, because it has very much influence on AAA paper. If you remember that you have studied paper F8, AA, audit and assurance, and in the paper F8, AA, you are having the accounting treatment which is basically from the legacy of your uh, initial paper, FA, financial accounting. But to study AAA, you will be having the accounting issues, which is relevant, which you have already covered in your paper, SBR, Strategic Business Reporting. So in order to study this AAA, you people must have the skills and understanding of uh, AA and SBR. So it is very much important to study and pass paper SBR at least in the, uh, in the in the professional module in order to study paper AAA. So this is basically the influence, influence of two papers in your advanced audit and assurance. Now let's proceed. Uh, this is the exam focused information. Your paper, obviously you know it, it's three hours and 15 minutes and candidates are expected to demonstrate, demonstrate an integrated knowledge of subject and that you have to apply the knowledge. You have to apply the knowledge where in your case studies, in your case studies. See that paper AAA is really very much practical. It's having a practical touch and it's also having some predefined structural uh, areas to be examined. I will be covering this in my lecturing videos. Uh, but it's very much important that you you are not able to uh, you, you are not required to just explain the knowledge. No, not at all. You are a, you are required to apply that knowledge into the case studies. Knowledge of accounting standards is very much important. Accounting standards at SBR level. Accounting standards at uh, SBR level along with the auditing skills. Obviously, you should have the auditing skills and the accounting skills because where the accounting gets and audit gets a start. Yes, where the accountants gets end with their work, the auditor starts. So see the importance of audit that you are required to test the accounting standards. And in addition, you should have the skills of the auditing as well. Uh, in your professional module, in your strategic module, you people are aware of the fact, since that I am assuming that you have passed out or you have studied paper SBR and uh, you have studied these um, uh, the auditing paper as well and you are carrying the knowledge of accounting. So uh, the exam will focus on 20 professional marks. 20 professional marks. First of all, see the importance of these professional marks that what is this all about? Uh, don't you people worry about it. I will be covering these professional marks uh, along with some uh, other videos, along with some topics as well. These are professional marks, not technical. These are not the technical marks. These are professional skills marks. Communication, analysis and evaluation, professional skepticism and judgment and commercial acumen. These are actually, these are actually your professional skills. These are not examinable individually. These are embedded. These are embedded in your um, technical areas. So I am writing here that these are embedded these are embedded in the these are embedded in the uh, question and answer along with 
technical marks. These are not separately examinable in the answer. I should write the answer. Not separately examined. These are not separately examined, but this is actually something which is embedded in your answer along with the technical marks. And uh, I will be telling the importance of these professional marks step by step along with the technical marks, step by step along with solving the answers. So you don't have to worry about it. But you should, but you should be, uh, you should have the knowledge that your 100 marks is split into two categories. 80 is the technical mark and 20 is the professional marks, okay? So you should know it in advance that your 20% marks is based on professional skills. Now let's move ahead to discuss about this uh, AAA syllabus first, and then we will be moving towards the paper format and then so on. Now, uh, this is your syllabus. This is your uh, AAA syllabus, regulatory environment section A, professional ethics section B, quality management section D, this is section E, D, E, and F. Current issues depends. Professional skills as above and employability and so these are A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and I. These are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are your major areas. Now let's have the now let's have the detailed understanding of these areas into your Next page, this is your AAA syllabus. A is the regulatory environment. This is basically the snapshot of your syllabus. And now I am going to cover it with the detailed syllabus. Is, uh, and you can also find this uh, syllabus in your ACCA website. Now, uh, this is your AAA syllabus. Number one is your regulatory environment. In this specific, in this specific area, you will be studying international regulatory framework for audit and assurance services that is what is actually the framework that is internationally acceptable obviously i'm not going to uh, describe these things in our detail obviously we will be covering in our uh, lectures but you should have a knowledge a short glimpse of the syllabus money laundering laws and regulations these are the regulatory environment regulatory environment since these are the aspects covered by the regulations next Professional ethics uh, and eth professional and ethical consideration. You have already covered these things in your paper FAAA. That is um, self-interest threat, confidentiality, and all that stuff. So this is code of ethics prof prof uh, for professional accountants. Fraud and error. Professional liability. That what is the professional liability of the auditor? How to detect fraud and error? And what is the difference between fraud and error? And, and so on. And what are the ethical code of ethics for the professional accountant? Next, quality management and practice management. Quality management from white, advertising, tendering, and obtaining professional works and fees, and the professional appointments of the auditor. Now, in this section, it is actually being covered that you are the auditor, obviously. And um, okay, let's make the scenario that in the entire journey, you will be acting as an auditor and me, Harris and Eve will be acting as a client company for which you are going to conduct the audit, right? So this is the practice and the quality management that involves what are the quality standards that your firm should maintain? Quality standards that your firm should maintain, quality, quality standards. And quality standards, what are the ethical uh, guidance on advertisement, tendering process and the auditors appointment and your professional works and all that stuff. Now this, section D, planning and conducting the audit. The very much important topic, you can assume uh, 30 to 40% from this area in your exam. Yes, 30, 35 to 40% from this specific area because this area covers planning, materiality, assessing the risk, Evidence and test consideration audit procedure using the work of others group audit. The core area, I must say that this is the core, core area of your triple exam. So this is the area which actually you have to perform very well. And this area, 
the answering of this area will decide your pass or failure this is very much important very much important area and core topic and it is frequently examined okay now let's move on section e and that is completion review and reporting subsequent events and going concern completion and final review audit reports audit report to those sorry report to those charged with governance this is also the frequently examined requirement here and uh, i cannot predict the marks but it's examinable it's it's examinable you will be receiving the question from this area and from this area as well you will be receiving the questions from these areas it's for sure and also this area is also examinable some uh, uh, this basically i must say that collectively collectively these three areas these three areas collectively you can assume sometimes 10 to 15 percentage it can be examined but it will be examined collectively from these areas right it, however this is not the defined percentage of the examinable content this is actually the analysis from the past from the past papers from the past but this is just the analysis completion review and reporting you will be receiving the question from here sometimes 15 to 20 percent marks you but you will be receiving the question from here or sometimes 25 percent however this is not the defined skill by acca this is the this is the analysis judgment of the not auditor judgment of the teacher so this is basically your syllabus area that how to how the auditor should behave in accordance with the laws and regulations ethics and the quality management because if you will be following the ethics laws and regulations and the quality standards you will be able to apply the audit more smoothly and achieving the purpose of the audit and then there is a planning and conduct of the audit i have um i have given you the short glimpse and this you have covered already in your paper f8 that is the risk assessment audit procedures but this is at the very much advanced level and next audit review stage and the audit reporting stage these are the things other assignments in other assignments you can assume that it can be examined from 8 to 15 marks okay make it round off 10 to 15 marks it may be examined in your uh, exam that is audit related and assurance services audit related because one service from the firm is the audit service and other one is audit related service audit related service specific assignments obviously we will be discussing it in our uh, lectures the audit of social environmental sustainability integrated reporting the audit of performance indicators and reporting on other assignments other assignment is actually something which is uh, non audit this is non audit obviously we will have to cover this area as well because it's examinable if it if it will be examined it may be around 10 to 15 marks but generally it is observed from the past exam papers that this area is also examinable generally speaking more frequently next one is the current issues okay current issue is having the question mark whether it will be examined or not so current issue whenever there is a current issue and development that is professional and ethical development and other current issues it depends it depends it's not necessary that in every attempt you will be having the current issue no it depends you have to uh, regularly visit the acc website especially in the last month um, uh, the month before your exam the month before your exam for example if you are appearing for september session so you have to check the icc website in august if you are appearing in june se session you have to check a month before okay so uh, in the month of may and and so on so it depends you have to check the acc website and the current issue written by the examining team so we have to visit the acc website for it okay we have to visit acc website for it there will be update that this is the current issue so it will be examined generally speaking uh, the examining team or the technical team uh, provide us the technical articles now the professional skills professional skills i have covered already earlier this worth 20 marks 20 percent and this is employability and technological skills this is not the examinable content 
because it is nowadays included in every of your ACC paper. Not examinable content, but it just includes how the exam window uh, operates, how the exam window operates. This is just the introduction of that. So professional skills was 20 marks. And so you can conclude that your 100% is split into two categories. That is 80% technical and 20% professional marks. This is. But what professional marks and these skills and how does it work and how you have to uh, write in the exam, we will be discussing it slowly and gradually. Don't you people worry about it, okay? Now let's move ahead. This is your exam format. Exam is split into two sections. Section A, worth 50 marks, obviously with sub parts. A case study, our case is study set at the planning stage. That means uh, in the exam, when you will be receiving section A, which worth 50 marks, you will be having one case study and that you will be in the planning stage of the audit. That is doing the plan of the audits. Doing the plan of the audit. And in this 50 marks, there are 40 technical and 10 professional marks. There are total 20 professional marks out of which 10% professional marks, 10% professional marks included in question number one, right? Communication skills for four marks and the rest of other areas six marks. So it would become collectively 10 marks. And one more important thing I would like to tell you people about uh, about the above these percentages. This is just the observations, right? This is just the observations. It quite may be possible. It may be less than 35. Less than 35, quite may be possible. I should make it a round of like 30 to 40%. Okay, keep it on safe side. It may be possible 8 marks, 10 marks. So this is just the observed range, not necessarily that it will be strictly followed, right? Now let's move ahead about this uh, section. A. I have told you that there will be 40 technical marks and 10 professional marks. But you will be having one case, you are, you are doing actually the planning of the audit. Now let's move ahead. There will be section B and you will be having two compulsory questions, 25 marks each. 25 is to 250 and 20 technical and professional marks in one question, in one question, right? So out of 25, you will be having 20 and five professional marks, which covered this only not communication because communication is only examined in your uh, question number one. Communication is only examined in your question number one. This is actually these three skills which you will be using to answer your uh, requirement. Okay. So this is actually our um, paper format and the course structure, but a very much important uh, information that you must have studied paper SBR first and obviously paper AA. So this is your exam uh, exam format and your AAA syllabus. Now see you in the next video, students. Have a good day. Take care.